Hey everyone, I'm back again to share some more health information. I hope that you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be sharing the information on the spice turmeric and you will see me um, occasionally looking over to my right. I actually typed up the information because I didn't want to leave anything out. I just love to uh, you know, cram a lot of information in my videos so it could be helpful to anybody. Uh, but um, actually it is, um, turmeric comes from um, the ginger family and it's been around for thousands of years and if you cut it open it does have uh, a yellow orange hue to it it's it's actually a beautiful color um, and it's been used widely um, in Indian food and I'm going to go um, through all the health benefits with you right now and there's actually another ingredient in turmeric and it's called uh, curcumin and that is um, really the main in ingredient that which gives you a lot of these health benefits so the first one is, it, it is definitely a cancer fighter. It fights, um, it actually blocks the growth of breast, cervical, prostate, and colon cancer. I have actually, just like I said in my other videos, I've had cancer three times, and um, I've been using turmeric probably uh, for about two years now as a spice in my food. I cook with it probably every night. I don't use a load of it because it can get bitter, and I will go over the side effects with you um, of turmeric uh, later on but um, yeah I've, I've been using it for a long time and it uh, actually I just recently started taking it in capsule form too and it really um, it seemed to help me out uh, my skin has looked smoother um, and my digestion has been good but uh, let me just go on with this information here it fights inflammation so it's good for arthritis and I was actually reading in a magazine that it actually decreases um, well, it, it decreases inflammation by 73%, and that's, that's a big amount, just by, just by taking the spice. Um, it aids in digestion. It strengthens your bones. Um, it's actually a good antiseptic for your, for, for your skin, so it prevents infections, and it, it can be applied to your skin as a paste. And a lot of, like, I've also been reading that people, like a lot of people in India, they use it as um, a paste for their skin for acne, too. Um, I've never tried it on my skin before because I'd be afraid that it may stain your skin yellow or orange. But I've, but I've con continually read that it does help with acne and it makes your skin softer. And it actually lowers cholesterol, aids in uh, circulation, and you could actually make it into a tea. You could actually use half a teaspoon of the turmeric and you can um, use hot milk, so you just boil your milk, add the, the half teaspoon of the spice, and you could sweeten it up with, um, I would use either a little bit of honey or condensed milk. Condensed milk, my mom used to cook with it when we were, she used to bake with it all the time when we were little, and it is delicious, but it is loaded with sugar. Uh, so anybody out there that's fighting cancer, uh, that may be a no-no for that one. But now I'm gonna go through the, um, the side effects. Um, and you, you shouldn't really use it in high dosages. So that's these side effects that I'm going to read to you uh, might be a problem if you're using it in very high doses. Um, if you have gallbladder problems and you take it in pill form, it can actually make your condition worse. So you want to stay away from it if, if you have that. And, and it actually, turmeric can, inter can interfere with pept pepsid, tagment, and Xantex and it could actually increase your stomach acid so you'll be doing the opposite of what you really want to uh, accomplish. And also if you're a diabetic it can increase your risk of hypoglycemia uh, so it, you will experience blood, low blood sugar which you don't want. Um, and if you're going through um, uh, if you're going through chemotherapy um, I would not use this either because it can reduce the side effects of your chemo. Um, and if you're also pregnant you should talk to your doctor before you take this because it, it can cause um, uterine um, stimulation and, and also can cause menstrual problems. So if you're pregnant, I, I mean, it's probably not a good idea to take it in capsule form. And um, I mean, I'm sure if you have it in, in food, I'm sure once in a while is good, but not every day. But I just want to show you um, the stuff that I take. I take this uh, Himalaya, Himalaya turmeric. It's an antioxidant and joint support. That's what it says on it. And this particular one, I think it's organic. Uh, but it, this is what it looks like. It is um, this one. It's really good. 
and I uh, use it in powder form. And I get this one from World Market. Uh, it's really good. I cook with it every day. I just use a little bit in my food and um, it does taste great. But just like I said before, don't use it too much in your food because it will be bitter. Uh, but okay, but I hope this has helped you out. And thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to my blog. It is eatrightforyourlife.org. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.